Welcome back to Star Wars fans. Welcome back to Star Wars Week. We just reviewed Star Wars 1977, a.k.a. A New Hope. And now, we're going to review the big granddaddy of the trilogy, The Empire Strikes Back, the sequel to Star Wars 1977, or in the other cases, called A New Hope. And, uh, let's do this. Um, the Empire Strikes Back came out around 1983, I believe. That's when the film came out. Or 1984, I'm not sure. Um, I know it was in the 80s, for sure. Um, yeah, The Empire Strikes Back. What can I say about it? It's just phenomenal. It's a fantastic film. It's definitely better than that Star Wars 1977. It tops it. So many great character moments and some of the best movie moments in movie history, in my opinion, are in this film alone. You've got Han Solo and Princess Leia getting, you know, get a little more chemistry. You get C-3PO, you get R2-D2, Luke Skywalker. You get all the gang back from the originals. And so many great character moments in this. Um, again, like I said in my last one, favorite character still is Han Solo. I love that guy to death. He is a great, great character. And I cannot wait to see his film, if, if they ever do make a film out of him. Um... I also do love Princess Leia. She's a pretty interesting character. Luke Skywalker is getting more interesting as the films progressed. And this one, he is starting to shine a little bit. And we'll see what happens with his character. Um, Darth Vader. You get to get to know more about Darth Vader. And there's an interesting scene, which you all know, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, but other than that, uh, this... the. The layout was real, was great. The action was, uh, you know, the action, you have to admit, there was a little bit of flaws, but you have to remember that this is from the 80s. This is from 1983 or 1984, whatever it was. And you have to remember CGI effects and, like, spectacular uh, effects that we have now. Those didn't exist at that time frame, so you have to remember uh, what they had to offer back then. So, uh, for what it was in the 80s, Compared to other films, this was a fantastic film, and it did a great job with its effects. And the, I love the fights with the with the X-wing. I love the fights with the Tie Fighters. Um, hands down, the best thing about this film is the Oscar-worthy performance given by Darth Vader when he tells Luke that I am your father. The I am your father scene is hands down the best scene in the Star Wars trilogy, and it is the best. One of the best scenes known in movie history. So, when I saw that scene, I, I gulped because I did not even suspect that. And the way they end off the film is like a cliffhanger. It is a cliffhanger, but it's a well-deserved cliffhanger because uh, I don't. I think after the "I am your father" speech, you kind of want to leave it right there, and they did, and that was a perfect time frame to stop the film. Because if you drag that on, I think that the I am your father's part would have kind of dragged a little. It would have, it wouldn't have been as, as important or as, as epic as it was at the end of the film. So I'm glad that they ended it somewhere around that time frame after Darth Vader gave the I am your father speech. Because if they kept dragging that, I think that that I am your father speech would have been a little bit more uh, kind of bland if they kind of left it there. Still a great scene. I'm just saying that I'm, I'm happy that they ended it right there. So, thumbs up to them for knowing the pacing of their film. Uh, Luke Skywalker. I I don't know why, but in the first film, like I know everyone said that he was kind of a brat. In this film, eh, kind of a kind of a, just charges into things, and uh, that's kind of like him throughout the entire trilogy. But in Return of the Jedi, he does get better. But in this film. Kind of the same idea. Uh, he does get his hand chopped off, which was very interesting. Uh, that's what happens when you go toe to toe with Darth Vader. And I forget. I forget. Like uh, there's like this old rule in Star Wars: if you pull out your lightsaber first, that uh, that means something. I don't know. I know that Luke was the one who pulled out his lightsaber first, which was a bad sign for his fight with Darth Vader. So you shouldn't do that. And. Uh, yeah, what else can I say about this film? This was an amazing film. It's definitely better than the first one, and it is one of the best films in cinema history. I highly recommend watching it. I give this film a 9.7 out of 10, which is a 0.1 better than the original one. 
because they're all spectacular films, and what else can I say about this film except watch it. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you guys think about The Empire Strikes Back? And out of all your favorite character moments in Empire Strikes Back, and even in Star Wars Trilogy, which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, this is the end of these videos. Bow out. See you next time. Peace.